Have you ever heard the idea that the sun could actually trigger an earthquake here on Earth? There's some real science behind it, and what's happening right now might actually raise the risk of a huge, possibly magnitude 8 or more earthquake happening soon. Let me explain. So here's what's going on. For over three years, we haven't seen a major earthquake bigger than magnitude 8. That's really unusual. Normally, the Earth lets out that kind of pressure once every year or so. But now it's been quiet for way too long. And scientists are worried that the pressure inside the Earth is just building up more and more. That's never a good sign. Now here's where it gets interesting and a little scary. Scientists are looking at something happening on the sun. There's a giant dark patch on the sun called a coronal hole. It's not a hole you could fall into, but it's an area where the sun's magnetic field opens up and lets out really fast solar wind. This particular coronal hole has been spinning around and facing Earth again and again for months. It's huge, like eight times bigger than Earth. And now during its eighth trip around, it's about to face Earth again. When it does, for about a week, the Earth will be getting hit with all this super fast solar wind. That might not sound like a big deal, but past events show that when this kind of solar activity happens, earthquakes sometimes follow, like the huge earthquake that hit Japan in 2011, causing the Fukushima disaster. A similar coronal hole was facing Earth just days before that. Even recently, in March 2025, a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake hit Myanmar. And again, this same coronal hole was lined up with Earth. It didn't stop there. Three more big earthquakes happened in other places just hours later. That kind of worldwide shaking hints that something more than just ground pressure might be involved. So why do scientists think the sun could actually help trigger earthquakes? It comes down to those high-speed solar winds. They move really fast, over 650 kilometers per second, and they're weirdly empty, with super low particle density. When this hits Earth, it messes with our magnetic field, and maybe even the ground itself. There's a theory that this kind of low-density solar wind creates a kind of pressure vacuum between space and the inside of the Earth. That could start pulling up charged particles, called plasma, from deep underground. And if that plasma moves across fault lines, the places where earthquakes usually start, it might actually help unstick those faults by breaking the molecular bonds in rocks. That means less friction, and the pressure that's been building for years can suddenly release in a massive quake. Some scientists even think Earth has a kind of natural nuclear reactor in its core. Yep, like a tiny power plant. If that's true, it could be producing plasma deep inside the Earth all the time. So when the sun's strange solar wind creates a pull, it might actually be dragging that plasma up toward the surface. And again, if it moves across fault zones, boom, earthquake. And here's another strange clue. Ever heard of earthquake lights? Those weird glowing lights people sometimes see during huge quakes. Some scientists think those are plasma escaping during a quake. Like literal proof that something electric is going on, not just rocks grinding together. There are even radio signals, strange electromagnetic pulses, that scientists have picked up before major earthquakes. And satellites have seen changes in the ionosphere, which is way above the ground, right before big quakes. None of this fits the old-school idea that earthquakes only happen because of tectonic plates moving. But it does make sense if the sun is somehow involved. Now, let's talk about where we should be most concerned. If you live anywhere around the Pacific Ring of Fire, that horseshoe-shaped area going from Japan down to Indonesia, across to South America, and up to Alaska, this is the area where the biggest earthquakes happen. These places are all sitting on top of what's called subduction zones, where one piece of Earth's crust dives under another. That's where the biggest pressure builds up. Places like Japan, the west coast of South America, the Cascadia region in the U.S. and Alaska, they're all at risk, and they haven't had a huge quake in a long time. The Cascadia zone, for example, hasn't had a major earthquake in over 300 years. Scientists say it's overdue. What's also worrying is that we're in a time called solar maximum. That's when the sun is most active, with more sunspots, more solar flares, and more powerful solar winds. That means all these weird effects we've talked about, the electromagnetic changes, the plasma movement, they're all stronger right now. So if the Earth's already under pressure, and solar conditions are perfect for triggering a quake, then we're really in a danger zone. Scientists are watching this closely using satellites like the Solar Dynamics Observatory and ACE, which monitor solar winds and plasma density. There are also ground-based tools that measure changes in the Earth's magnetic field, track unusual radio signals, and watch for ionospheric disturbances. 
All of this gives us clues before something big happens. So what can you do with all this info? First of all, don't panic. Just be prepared. If you live in an area that's known for earthquakes, make sure you have emergency supplies, know your evacuation routes, and secure heavy stuff in your home. If you're near the coast, understand how tsunami warnings work. But also, just realize that we're living in a fascinating time. Scientists are starting to connect the dots between what happens in space and what happens deep underground, and we might be getting close to being able to predict big earthquakes, not by watching the ground, but by watching the sun. The big risk window for this event starts around April 2020. That's when the coronal hole will be facing Earth again. And with everything lining up, the overdue pressure on fault lines, the solar maximum, recent geomagnetic storms, and low plasma density, it's a time to stay alert. So yeah, a solar-triggered magnitude 8-plus earthquake isn't just science fiction. It's something we need to take seriously, especially now. Keep an eye on solar weather, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe.